हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे वी विल बी स्टडिंग क्लास सेवन मैथ चैप्टर नंबर नाइन प्रैक्टिस सेट नंबर थर्टी सेवन डायरेक्ट प्रपोर्शन एंड इनवर्स प्रपोर्शन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट इन टू डेज वीडियो सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द फर्स्ट एक्सरसाइज लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट एक्सरसाइज इन विच वी हैव टू फाइंड डायरेक्ट प्रपोर्शन डायरेक्ट प्रपोर्शन मीन्स वेन वी आर गेटिंग वी हैव बीन गिवन वन क्वान्टिटी एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द अदर वन ओके जब एक दिया होता है एंड द अदर वी हैव टू फाइंड दैट इज सपोज टू बी द डायरेक्ट प्रपोर्शन so in this see seven kgs of onion cost rupees one forty so seven kgs amount has been given how much we pay for twelve kgs so seven kgs amount has been given twelve kgs of onions we need to find the answer for okay so when such kind of question or problem sum is been given we have to use a direct proportion okay so by reading the question only we will be able to understand so one by one we are going to study first the direct proportion and then the inverse proportion in the next video so in this video we are going to complete practice set number 37 so we have already read the question now the thing that we have to find we have to find the rupees for 12 kgs of onions that we have to suppose so let the cost of 12 kg of onions b x because we need to find it isn't it so whatever we need to find it we need to put it in inverted comma along with x now the weight of the onion and its cost are in direct proportion as we have discussed um just before so now how are you going to arrange it so 7 kg is 140 rupees 7 kg is 140 rupees 12 kg is x rupees because we have taken x for 12 kg okay now what we have to do we have to cross multiply it okay now cross multiplication is in this way that means 7 into x And one forty into twelve. All right, children. So this is going to be very easy for you all to solve cross multiplication. We have already done it in the previous videos also. If you all are finding anything difficult or new or can't understand, let me know in the comment section. Now this will give you seven x is equal to one forty into twelve. Now I'm going to show you simple uh, uh, cutting because we need to. reduce this okay so if you multiply it it will be a bigger number so what we have to do multiplication was there so therefore x we will keep it over here multiplication jo tha it will change to division so 7 will come over here upar 140 as it is okay now this is going to be very easy because we need to reduce it okay just we have to do the simple cutting that is 7 ones are 7 7 2 are 14 and 0 as it is now the number has become smaller we can very easily multiply it now over here also what is left therefore x is equal to 20 into 12 now over here also i'm going to show you simple multiplication no need to separately multiply it so 2 into 12 is going to be 24 and 0 so you have got the value of x now you will see simple steps we have carried in order to simple division simple multiplication steps to get the answer for the value of x so we have got the x now we will conclude the answer we pay rupees 240 for 12 kg of onions isn't it simple children now in further videos we are going to solve the question even more easy because we don't need to multiply and do the long division simple division and simple multiplication we are going to carry out whether there is necessary there only we are going to multiply it Now the next question is if rupees six hundred can buy fifteen bunches of cattle feed. Cattle feed मतलब उनका खाना जो cattle खाते हैं that fifteen bunches. Okay, so bunches fifteen bunches we can buy in rupees six hundred. Okay, so how many bunches of cattle can be bought in rupees twelve eighty? ओके okay, मतलब कितने बंचेस आएंगे इन ट्वेल्व एटी रुपीज सिक्स हंड्रेड में फिफ्टीन बंचेस सो ट्वेल्व एटी में कितने बंचेस दैट वी हैव टू फाइंड सो वॉट एवर वी हैव टू फाइंड वी विल सपोज इट लेट रुपीज एटी ट्वेल्व एटी बाय 
x bunches of cattle feed complete the sentence properly okay now once you all have done we will arrange this that is 600 upon 15 therefore we will put is equal to 1280 upon x again we are going to cross multiply and the next step is going to be cross multiplication so first we will write 15 into uh, sorry 600 into x i will write it over here only now 600 into x that is 600 x is equal to 1280 into 15 so this is going to change to x is equal to x we will keep it over here multiplication will change to division so this will become 600 1280 will come over here into 15 now you will say that how are we going to reduce it so simple we will first cut zero zeros okay now the number has become small so we can use two cut table very easily two threes are six zero as it is two fours are eight two sorry two six are twelve and two fours are eight okay now now the number is x is equal to 64 into 15 upon 30 okay now again we have to see what we can reduce it so 15 ones are 15 twos are okay two ones are two threes are six two twos are four so directly without any multiplication and any division we have separately we have not done we have done multiplication and division but we have reduced it okay simply using a two car table and 15 table i have used and got the answer you all can repeat this step again and again you all can watch it again and again so that it will be clear for you all because this will save your time and in future also you will need this type of reduction when it comes to maths so therefore 32 bunches of cattle feed got it now let's move on to the third question which says for nine cows 13 kgs 500 grams of food supplement are required every day in the same proportion how much will be needed for 12 cows okay so over here we have to again suppose whatever we have to that is 12 cows need x kg of food so therefore nine now this we have to put in decimal point that is 13.15 grams matlab 13 kgs 500 grams is supposed to be 13.5 okay kgs we all know these conversions okay if you all don't know you all can go and watch the conversion shots now what we have to take 13 kg is 500 kg again 13 upon 13.5 and over here 12 upon x so cross multiply it after cross multiplying 9 into x is equal to 13.5 into 12 okay now next step is going to be we will keep x over here 13.5 into 12 upon 9 now over here we will reduce it with the threes table 3 threes are 9 3 fours are 12 okay now over here you will say how can we reduce this very easily we can reduce it see 3 ones are 3 3 fours are 12 isn't it 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 3 threes are 9 3 fours are 12 now over here 13 was there so one we have to carry forward to the next number don't forget the decimal point okay now 15 is there so three fives are 15 now what we have got 4.5 into 4 because niche to koi number bachai nahi it's only one so what we have to multiply 4.5 into 4 so five fours are 20 four fours are 16 17 18 a decimal point will come over here so point ke baad agar zero hai to we only take 18 we all know that isn't it so therefore x is supposed to be 18 we will conclude the answer 18 kg of food 
supplement. Let's move on to the next question which is fourth question. Same 12 quintals of soya bean cost rupees 13, 36,000. What is the cost of 8 quintals of soya bean? So let the cost of 8 quintals of soya bean be rupees x. So therefore 12 upon arrangement I think everyone has understood how you all have to arrange it. 8 upon x cross multiply it after cross multiply 12 into x is equal to 3 6 triple 0 into 8 so therefore x we will keep it over here 12 we will carry forward over here into 8 upon 12 so what we can do is 12 ka table directly if you all know it it's well and good if you all don't know 12 ka table use 2 stable i'm going to use 12 ka table 12 ones are 12 12 threes are 36 isn't it kaha tak bolna hai 12 ka table 3 tak so 12 ones are 12 12 threes are 36 3 zeros as it is what is left x is equal to 300 3000 into 8 ab how, how we have to multiply it 3 8s are 24 and 3 zeros after that. Simple, we have to make the answer. The reduction has to be this simple. If you all are going to practice it again and again, I am sure you all are going to get the way of reduction. Soya yeah, bean is rupees 24,000. Got it? Now let's move on to the last sum of this exercise. The cost of 9 mobile is rupees 1600. How much money will be required to buy 13 such mobiles? So let the cost of 13 mobile be rupees X. Therefore, 2 mobile 16,000. Then 13 mobile x rupees. Cross multiply it. Therefore 2 into x is equal to 16,000 into 13. So therefore x we will keep it over here. 2 we will take to the other side. So that will become a division. 2 ones are 2 eights are 16. Remaining 3 zeros as it is. So therefore x is equal to 800 into 30. Okay now we have we have to obviously multiply it. Okay so if you all know 13 stable it will be very easy. Okay 13 8s are 104 and just two zeros you all have to add after that. But we will multiply it if you all if you all find it difficult. Three zeros are there. Okay, so if you all find it difficult, multiply it in this way. I think everyone knows how to multiply it. But if you know 13 stable, then we will directly do 13 8s are 24 and 3 zeros. So therefore, sorry, not 24, sorry, 104, my mistake. 13 8s are uh, 104 and remaining 3 zeros, you all have to directly write it. Then the cost of 13 mobile i think everyone knows 13 ka table if you all don't know you all can multiply it this way also 13 8 za kya aata hai if you all if you all are finding this multiplication difficult multiply it in short uske baad sab three zeros add kar dena hai that's it is rupees 1000 sorry 1 lakh 4000 rupees Okay, so 13 mobile ka cost we have found. If while uh, solving the exercise you will find anything difficult, do let me know in the comment section. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.